Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can mine BTT or BitTorrent tokens using your M1 or Intel Mac. I'm not suggesting that you should do this, I'm just going to show you how to do it in case you want to experiment with mining or get your hands on some BTT without having to buy them through an exchange. First you'll need a wallet, so that you have somewhere to store the tokens that you mine. Since BitTorrent is a Tron token, a Tron wallet will also work to store BTT. There's a list of wallets available on the official Tron website that I'll link down in the video description. But for this video I'm going to be using Coinomi Wallet. Coinomi supports many different cryptocurrencies including Tron and TRC10 tokens like BTT. There's a desktop client available for macOS and there are also versions for Windows, iOS and Android. On the Coinomi website, click on the download button to bring you to the download page. Then scroll down until you see the version for macOS. Click on download and Safari will ask if you want to allow downloads from Coinomi.com. Click allow and the file should be saved to your downloads folder. Open your downloads folder and double click the Coinomi wallet DMG file to mount it. Then you can drag the icon into your applications folder. Due to Big Sur's security settings the first time you run Coinomi, you'll see a message saying that it can't be opened because Apple can't check it for malicious code. To bypass this click OK, then open System Preferences and choose Security and Privacy. At the bottom, where it says Coinomi Wallet was blocked from use, click Open anyway and then click Open. Coinomi Wallet should then run. The first time you run Coinomi, you'll need to create a wallet. So on the first screen, click the button labelled Create a New Wallet. On the next page, you'll be given a 25 word recovery phrase. You need to write these words down carefully on a piece of paper in the same order they appear on the screen and keep it somewhere safe. If you ever forget these words, you'll no longer have access to your crypto. Once you've written the words down, click on Next and you'll be asked to verify your recovery phrase. Click each of the words one by one in the same order you wrote them down and then click next. Then you'll be asked to set a password. This will be the password you use to protect your wallet in everyday use. Choose a password of at least 10 characters and type it into both boxes. Then click on next. On the next screen you can select which coins you want to use with the wallet. Coinomi supports a range of different cryptocurrencies, but for the moment, since BTT is a Tron token, I'm just going to select Tron. If you want to use more coins, you can always add them later. After clicking on Next again, you'll be taken to the Wallet Overview screen. Now, we need to add the BTT token to our wallet. Click Wallet on the left, and then click Add Asset at the bottom. In the window that pops up, select Add Token. Then you'll see a window asking you to choose a blockchain. Since BitTorrent is a Tron token, select the Tron blockchain. Then you'll see a list of Tron tokens. The token we want to add is BTT, so you can type BTT into the search box. When you do that, you'll find that there are actually dozens of tokens with this name. But only one of them is the real BitTorrent token, the rest are all copycats, so you need to be very careful. Look for the token with the ID 1002000 and a black icon. This one is the real BitTorrent token. Put a tick into the box next to it and click Add. And that's it, your wallet has been created and you're ready to start sending or receiving Tron and BTT. Now we need a program to do the actual mining. For this, I'm going to be using the M1 native version of XM Rig. Go to the XMRig GitHub page which I'll link down in the video description, scroll down until you find Assets and then look for the version for your Mac. Be sure to download the right version. If you're using an Intel Mac you should download the version for macOS x64. And if you're using an M1 Mac you need the version for macOS ARM64. Click the link to download it. Once it's downloaded, Open your downloads folder and double click the xmrig tar file to decompress it. Then drag the entire folder from downloads into your applications folder. 
Next, you need to find a pool to mine with. BitTorrent tokens by design are proof of stake rather than proof of work, so usually you can't mine them directly. However, by going through unminable.com, it's possible to mine them just as if they were a proof of work crypto. Go to the unminable.com website and then click on BitTorrent on the main page. On the next page, select the random X algorithm at the top. Now we need to configure the XM rig miner to mine to the unminable.com pool and tell unminable that we want to be paid in BTT. XM rig's configuration is stored in a file called config.json. It's just a standard text file so you can open it up in text edit. Open the file and then scroll down until you find the section headed pools. There are a few things in here that we need to change. First, next to where it says algo, delete null and type rx forward slash zero inside quotation marks. On the next line, we need to change the server address and the port number. Highlight the rx.unminable.com3333 text on the Unminable website, press command and C to copy it, and then paste it into the text file with command and V replacing what's there. Next, delete the text that says your wallet address and type BTT colon. This tells Unminable that we want to be paid in BitTorrent tokens. Next, you'll need your wallet address. Switch over to the Coinomi wallet, click on BTT and then click the receive button at the top. A window will pop up containing your wallet address. Click on the clipboard icon to copy it to the clipboard, then switch back to the text file and press Ctrl and V to paste it after the colon. Finally, type a period and choose a name for your worker. I'm just going to call mine MBA for MacBook Air. Then you can go ahead and save the file and quit text edit. Now it's time to actually start mining and begin earning some tokens. Go to your XMRig folder and double click on the XMRig icon. The first time you run it a pop up message will appear asking if you're sure you want to open it. Click on open and a new terminal window should appear, XMRig should run, connect to the unminable server and start mining. If that doesn't happen check that you haven't made any mistakes in the config file, especially look for missing quotation marks or commas. Finally, I'll show you how to get paid. On the unminable.com website, click in the box on the right that says your BTT address, copy your wallet address from Coinomi and paste it into the box. Then click on the magnifying glass icon to bring up your mining statistics. At the top, you'll see how many BTT you've mined so far. And if you scroll down, you'll see your worker and the current hash rate. The payout threshold on unminable.com is 400 BTT, so once the amount you've earned passes that threshold, you'll be paid automatically to the address you specified in the config file. So how much can you make? On my M1 MacBook Air I get a hash rate of about 2180 hashes per second. At the time of making this video that works out to about 31 BitTorrent tokens a day, or 940 a month. This goes up or down depending on the current price of BTT. I hope this video helps if you've been looking for a way to mine BTT on your own Mac. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.